In our last episode, we prepared the site, built the foundation, and laid the floor of this 12 by 16 loft shed that I'm building with my son-in-law. Today, we'll pre-assemble what I call the kit of the shed, the four walls and the rafters that will make assembly day go much faster. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl working for a mouse. They fell in love and realized they'd never own their own home working for the mouse. So they packed up a big truck and moved to New Jersey, lived in a basement to save money for a year, and bought a foreclosure to fix up while they lived there. This is their story. This project is proudly sponsored by Nailgun Depot and Everwin Pneumatic Tools. All right, now that the floor is done, we are going to assemble the walls and we are starting with the back wall because that one has no cuts in it and it's nice and big. And it's got just two by fours, two long ones and nine short ones. They gotta be cut to length and then we'll assemble it right on the platform here. It's a good idea to always crown your boards up. And what that means is you're looking for the natural curve of the wood and just make that to the top so they're all consistent. All right, we're building the walls right here on the deck and we're using T111 siding because it is not only plywood, which is sturdy, but it also takes a nice paint job and you don't have to do anything else. And the way this works is they just overlap a little bit. They don't butt right up against each other. so. You can see the grooves here. When you put them together, I'll show you over here, you can see it just leaves a groove and you can't really tell where the seams are. And they're 48 inches wide and my studs are 24, so I have a stud every seam as well as right in the middle. You can see the nails there. And we left it long on the bottom and we're going to snap a line and cut that to the length that we need it to be. So they're all the same exact length. So what we did is we left a two inch overhang on the bottom plate and that way it hangs over just our plywood and about an inch and a quarter onto the uh, that two by six there so it doesn't block those vents but that way any water that hits it will come down won't go underneath you always want it to overlap next up will be the front wall that one has a window and a door in it and we need 12 studs for that and Josh is kind enough to do the labor what do you think that's up. Okay. So the top and the bottom plates are 16 foot lumber. We're going to cut them to 15 foot nine. So that's the first thing I did was mark those. And what we did first is we crowned them so that both of them are curved up, if there is a curve to it. And then we marked from the center. I found the very center of the boards because I the way I designed it, the design always starts from the middle. You find the center, and then I went 24 inches out, and I made marks evenly so that I can, will know where to, to nail the studs. Eleven feet five inches. Eleven times twelve. It's one thirty-two plus five. It's one thirty-seven divided by two is sixty-eight and a half is the middle. Sixty-eight and a half. Alright, so we're going twenty-four inches. We're gonna take that. Two feet. Two feet, two feet, two feet. Two feet, two feet. So this is my center line. The window is actually in the middle of the wall. And so we took the width of the window and we measured out from the center line. 
and we're going to put a stud here and I use the X notation to say this is where the studs going to be and that's the edge whereas everywhere else if I just put a single line that's the middle of the stud all right so top and bottom that's what we got here figures down that end Take out our siding nails, and we'll put in the longer ones. Fastest way to build a wall. Now I put cut lines on my plan here that show this is where that panel of siding is gonna be in the middle. Um, that means that the two on the sides are gonna overlap the side by three and a half inches so that it could be attached to the other wall, the front and the back wall. 165 and three quarters, not bad. Push towards me. Yep. There you go. the way over. Grab. You good? Good. All right, that way, even if the boards aren't perfectly straight, you get a nice straight cut when we're done. To build the header, we put two two by sixes cut the right width. And then we're just using scraps of T111 in between them to create like a kind of a sandwich so it's the right thickness. All right, put that one on top. And we're gonna even it up and we're gonna nail it. Okay, so this goes here. Those are called the jack studs because they hold up the head. Now you can put that. Let's test fit everything together. Let's check our measurements. Good. Good. Okay. Now we just got to nail it all up. All right, what we're doing is we're sistering these two together, even with this end. Okay. So I'd say that's good. I'm good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Where does that shoot out of here? The air comes out of the top. Oh, yeah, don't put okay. it in the top. Yeah. Just every foot. One more. Look at you! Like I mean, I pro. did a whole wood floor. I think oh, I know what I'm doing. Give me the muscles, guys! <laughs> Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> Rosie the Riveter, yeah, that's it. <laughs> This is the side that obviously has the roll-up door, so that's a big five foot wide opening. We didn't waste a full piece of siding for that, so we just cut this piece for the top. Now this last piece, in order to get it straight, it's gonna be even there. And down here, we just put a little piece of scrap just as a spacer.
Now that the walls are completely built, we turned our attention to the rafters. Now the rafters consist of a miter at the top that makes it sit flat against the ridge. And then another miter at the bottom, but also a, a 90 degree cut from that, that forms a rafter tail where I will attach the soffit. And then a bird's mouth, they call it, which is a notch that sits against the top of the wall. And here you can see how the bird's mouth is that notch, it fits in there, and that's what the rafter looks like. And what we've done is we have created the first two rafters. And uh, this is simulating what the ridge is gonna be, the whole length of the, the shed. And this is what I'll call just a ridge support. It's gonna come from the wall. Of course, the wall is gonna be up here once it's, once it's built. But this simulates what we're talking about here. So that's the ridge height off of the top of the wall. And then we've got the two rafters fit right together like that and that's what we're looking for now we've got a pattern and we can just cut the rest of them we're back today with another pile of wood and sawdust we built the last two walls and we cut all the rafters so our next time will be assembly I don't have enough time today or people to do it today so we're gonna put that off until another time and that'll be a big day. Welcome home. Be sure to subscribe and watch our new series, The Living Flip. Ooh. Flip. <laughs> and that has inch and a quarter. That's the little one. That's all I'm